What's going on guys, welcome back to a new video. If you have reached this video, it's probably because you're starting your own channel or maybe you already have one and are working on finding a good microphone that meets your expectations and improves quality of your recordings. Stick around to the end to see what I'm using and what I recommend. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please leave a like and subscribe. All links will be down in the description. So let's get into this in three, two, one, let's go. Coming in at number five is the HyperX Quadcast S. Sitting at 4.7 stars on Amazon, on sale for $139.99, limited time. This mic features a cylinder design built entirely of metal. This incorporates a mount to absorb vibrations generated during use. It also incorporates a volume dial at the bottom, a USB-C Type-C connector to give it power and connect to the PC. Although it's still somewhat inferior to the sound quality of the cable XLR, this model incorporates RGB lighting inside. Fully customizable with its brand software, makes it look cool for streaming or video shots. If we talk about compatibility, this microphone can be connected to the PC, Mac, and PlayStation. It's also good for Discord, TeamSpeak, and OBS. Although it's also fully compatible with Skype or any other video conferencing and recording apps. This mic incorporates four different capture modes, these being the stereo mode, which is ideal for vocals and instruments, the omnidirectional mode, ideal for podcasts and conferences, the cardioid mode, ideal for podcast streaming, voiceovers and instruments, as well as the last mode that is a bi-directional, which is more useful for interviews. So for whichever thing you're doing, this microphone has you covered. Talking about the HyperX Quadcast specs, it has a frequency response of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, an impedance of 32 ohms, and a sampling rate of 48 kHz. When using it, we totally highlight its versatility. Being able to vary the type of capture at the moment with the turn of a knob makes a big difference. Coming in at number 4, we got the perfect budget mic for those just starting out. Sitting at only $29.99, Currently, the Fifine K670 mic is highly rated at 4.5 stars. This microphone has a heavy metal base that allows its good stability. It has an independent volume to control sound reception and as well as a 3.5 headphone jack to monitor the recording. The reason I chose this microphone as one of the top choices is for its smooth and flat frequency response from 50 to 50 gigahertz. 60 millimeters of the diaphragm that captures high frequency content while offering a slightly full and round sound. It's suited for podcasts, games and streaming. The sound side is not compatible with Xbox, phones or iPad, but it's great for everything else. The USB recorder microphone comes with equipped with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that lets you hear what you're recording in real time without lazy delays. This microphone comes with a volume control allowing easy input level adjustments. This condenser microphone combines quality sound capturing with ease of plug and play USB connectivity on Mac and Windows computer. No driver is required no external sound card needed, and the 2 meter high speed USB cable is also double sealed cable that reduces interference and ensures a strong connection, making it easy for anyone to pick up and use. Coming in at number 3, the Rode USB mini condenser is a cardioid condenser USB microphone that is designed to offer the user professional quality sound or record different voices. It's ideal for podcasts, live broadcasts, and more. It also allows the user to record voices in a very simple and practical way. Since it's only necessary to connect the microphone to the computer, laptops, or tablet through a USB connection without the need for the interface. Likewise, the equipment also stands out at the top. Due to the quality of its recordings, since it has a capacity to record at 48 kHz at 24 bits, in addition to providing great warmth and presence to the vocal power. These characteristics make it a standard microphone and a very good option to be used in in-home studios. So if you're looking for an affordable and excellent quality option, this microphone is one of the best to start your projects. Since this audio input device will give you more professionalism in your audiovisual media, at a very good price at $97 and 4.6 stars on Amazon, I think it's a great choice for anyone wanting to pick it up. We're finally at our top two. So first off, we're coming at you number two. We got the small but heavy hitter, the Razer Siren V2 Pro. Currently on sale at $131.99 with 4.6 stars. It delivers the richest and most powerful audio in its class, allowing streamers to harness the depth and richness of their voice tones with the total quality of a radio DJ. High pass filters and analog gain limiters to ensure the microphone only captures the sound you want. Naturally filtering out pops and chuck noise, this microphone is a must have for any streamer or content creator looking to improve their audio and quality and experience. Among its main features, we find a dynamic microphone that allows rich and powerful vocal capture and 20 Hz frequency response to capture a full range of audio. A high pass filter to block unwanted low frequencies and analog gain limiter to prevent speech distortion and superior accuracy and dynamic ranges with 24 bit speed. 
This version has clear improvements compared to the previous Siren X in all aspects, with sharper and clearer vocals, easily isolating the streamer's voice without any background noise. Among its main features, we find a 25mm condenser microphone for a natural vocal quality, a super cardioid pickup pattern for a greater isolation of the voice, an analog gain limiter to prevent voice distortion and superior precision, and dynamic range. Add to this, it offers almost unlimited customization options and enhanced controls thanks to the full integration with Razer Synapse software, making it easy to play with and set up to your liking. I personally tried the previous model and it was actually a pretty good microphone with everything included in it. This one, however, is clearly an upgrade and I think it's well worth the price that it's at. It has amazing, phenomenal reviews all over the internet. So I do think this is a good option for those looking for a little bit more pricier, but not too pricey. Finally, coming in at number one, we got the Shure MV7, leading our top picks. Although it's supposed to be the most expensive model on our list, this microphone is excellent for online recording, live streaming, podcasting, or any other type of recordings. The best thing about this microphone is that it has a dull USB XLR output that allows you to record digitally or analog. It also has an intuitive touch control panel that allows you to control the gauge, monitor the volume, and headphone mix, as well as mute the microphone. It has a built-in headphone output that allows you to monitor audio directly through the headphones while recording. The Shure MV7's frequency response is optimized for the most natural vocal reproduction possible. It also has a desktop application, Shure Plus Motive. The structure of the microphone is made out of metal. It's very durable and it gives it a professional appearance. One of the best features of this audio input device is the voice isolation technology that keeps the microphone centered on your voice and prevents any unwanted background noise. Another interesting feature is the customizable distinctive sound that allows you to choose between different tones, dark, natural, or bright. Although this microphone is a bit pricey, its quality and advanced features make it a great choice for anyone looking for a high quality microphone for voice recordings, this microphone comes in either silver or black and it sits at $249 on a big sale currently on Amazon. Make sure to catch it before the summer ends. Now, let's talk about my microphones that I use. So currently, for recording this video, I'm using the Shure SM7B. Um, I had this microphone probably more than, I'd say, four years or so. Uh, I bought it a while ago for my YouTube videos because I really thought that I needed to get the best out there. Um, so I bought it out on a whim. I got it for a little bit cheaper, which I don't even think it's cheap, so it was like $400, but it did come with a microphone stand, and yeah, it was a pretty good package, my thing. I do like this microphone a lot. Um, I found no problems with it. Uh, I do think I still want to get the last pick, the Shure V7, but I do like this microphone a lot. It's not portable, so that's probably one of the reasons that I would like the MV7, but other than that, this microphone has been great. It does need the interface and it does need uh, extra power which I still haven't gotten but it's one of the best sounding mics out there so I'm enjoying it. Uh, I did also at a point had the Razer X. I did talk about it earlier in the video. I think that microphone is pretty decent. Uh, it did have some problems later in its life, uh, some little bit of static in the noise. That's why I used it a while ago, and that's why I decided to not use it ever, ever again. So I gave it down to my girlfriend. But I do like both mics. I don't see any problems. If you want a cheaper mic, the Razer X is still out there. But I do enjoy my shirt, at least SM7B. Uh, I also have my headset that has a mic, it actually has a blue mic. It's not the greatest, but it's decent enough for like gaming and stuff. Uh, it comes with G Pro headset. And my other mic I did use before for recording audio was the Blue Yeti X. I had that for a while also, but it just didn't give me what I wanted. So I ended up upgrading to the one I have now. But that one is still a good microphone for a USB mic. But I do prefer the XLR mics. They sound way better, sound clearer, and you can do way more things with them. But if you do need something simple and easy, I recommend a USB mic for anybody that's starting out. And in the future, obviously, this list will help you out with choosing what you have, what you need next. So that's it for this video. All the links will be down in the description. Please guys, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below which one you think is the best option for you. And let me know if you guys have any of these and your feedback on them. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye bye.